playing this style is very different from like classical, for instance, you know, most classical players, the guitar would be at that angle, right? And so the hand is like that. This hand is, is on that angle. And so the thumb never goes past the halfway mark here on the neck. When you play the style that I'm playing, the guitar sits down there, so you can get your thumb over. You know, if you want to play Merle Travis style tunes, you know, you've got to use your thumb a lot. And so... That's a typical Merle Travis sound. There's what I call a fistful of E7th. That's how Merle Travis played E7. The third is in the bass. See that? Seventh, third, seventh again. Isn't that a killer chord? If you go back to the original version of Nine Pound Hammer by Merle Travis, the introduction goes. Well, this nine pound hammer. So forth, you know how it goes. And Travis, Travis did that a lot. He'd, he'd, uh, he'd also, with the thumb, instead of going, he'd just go, like honky-tonk piano. That's what, the, to me, um, Chad Atkins came along, took that style and put his own spin on it and kind of neatened it and made it sound even more perfect, you know. But uh, the, I love what Mel Travis plays. I love what he writes. And I love the sound that, that uh, he was able to produce from those beautiful guitars he played. But a lot of it was to do with how he... he uh, he played and and the shapes he used with his left hand and if you if you've grown up like I have with no no official training then uh, all your bad habits turn into good music somehow you know I always use my thumb across the top so I could get that you know that that, that sound there you know in order to, in order to get those uh, open notes, you had to, had to bring your thumb across the top to play, to play that and then... Here's a typical Merle Travis shape. This is B flat 13 with a... With a what, what would that be? That would be... That'd be a flattened five. So you, you're in C, B flat to A. That's a typical Merle Travis move. He would do something like that. Um, and then playing, playing those D shapes. You see, I, I'm, I'm not going. I'm going. That's a typical Travis sound. And in order for me to get that sound, you see I'm covering two strings with the one finger there. And then when I switch to the thumb, Now, when I play the C, uh, especially if I'm playing a tune like Saturday Night Shuffle, um, I'll, I'll cover those two strings with that finger. So you get, to, now it's a C6. It's a very cool sound. It's a very 40s sound, isn't it? That's some Travis moves. Um, uh, I use those uh, a lot in, in, in other songs as well because it's such a great sound. And some of these open, uh, uh, open style runs. And that, that again is a typical Chet Atkins sound. Um, and uh, they're, they're like, a, a, like a banjo roll. So one, two, three. If you speed it up. that work wherever you've got some open notes to ring against one another you can you can do that there so and the funny thing is if you go back and watch Merle Travis play 
um, a cannonball rag or any of those. He gets that. He doesn't. He doesn't make that sound. He does it with a, with a pick and his finger. He goes. It's a lot harder, but he, he made it look easy, and um, you know. So Chet came along and did, and did it with all with his fingers, like that. So there, there's some of the uh, interesting little techniques that, that you can use, and um, you can throw them in the middle of a of a tune just to to make it interesting and to and uh, to to break the song up a little. <laughs> 